Well, good evening, everybody. This is Gloria Drummond. This is Back to the Altar of God ch YouTube channel. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And this is uh, September the 15th, 15th of 2023. And uh, I want to start out by saying that my signal isn't really good so i don't know how this is going to do i'm still on uh my data and my provider can't get out here for a while to, to fix the internet you know to fix the wi-fi so it is what it is so i'm going to start this out with the our father okay and the time is time is about 10 minutes till 10 p.m <clears throat> so our father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, <clears throat> and the glory. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said amen in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> there was a post on, and also I want to thank everybody, too, for their their birth, birthday wishes. My birthday was the 12th. And I want to thank everybody for their birthday wishes. On Facebook, I'm going to be sharing this out so <clears throat> all right this was caught this was written on facebook and uh it was no it was really no no author no author so uh, that kind of my eyes were kind of drawn to that so i decided to copy it down the, there's another one on there i'm going to copy as well <clears throat> now this was written on 9 11 who can forget 9-11? I know exactly where I was. Okay. It's called, more or less, The Catcher of Grace. I surrender. I confess. It's hard to deny such a beautiful mess. The paradox of God in the evolution of me both coexist and proved too hard to resist so come on so come on be a believer <clears throat> and see maybe gain a tiny seed of faith maybe gain a tiny seed of faith become a doubt become a doubter who can't possibly think we were made by cosmic accident or mistake those that trust that will lack what it takes. <clears throat> Winning billions of lottos in a row is totally insane. Odds are infinite to none we happened to none we happened that way. We were created thoughtfully by design. His artistic his artistic oh so mysterious is about to be revealed personally signed formed formed born again and caught in the uh, the act believers are proof of god's autograph i am a prototype of a typical type of man i've been on my own <clears throat> and serving myself since the moment i could stand i'm confident eager and never afraid even though i avoid catching bullets and planes by sudden stop or this escalation of age, odds are one to one. I will die anyways. Take what you please. Get all that you can. Lover of self. Lover of self. In a very proud man. Until I looked at God's image in a mirror to see what I could see. What I saw seemed pretty important. 
Then I wondered what it was he was seeing in me. A sudden stop, unavoidable, was on its way, but what a leap of faith my reflection became. Pride versus the, gra the gravity of falling somewhere in between. As awesome as I thought I was or desired to be, terminal velocity had its hold on me. Falling fast, face to face with a bullseye on my open grave. If not for a mustard seed of faith and the helpless attempt of a whisper screaming out a savior's name, I hoped he would spare me, but he let me hit at full speed for he knew exactly what I needed. I needed to believe. My chest was cracked open and my heart was replaced. When sin gets ripped out like cancer, it hurts like hell. It hurts like hell being saved. But when I believed Jesus, Jesus answered. <clears throat> he resurrected me and I was a changed born again. I'm still alive, saved by the catcher of grace. He jumped in my grave before me, reached out to break my fall. I heard the sound of breaking before I hit the ground. I heard the sound of breaking before I hit the ground. The sudden stop, I've never forgot. That's when I saw his gentle smile and a tear fell from his eye. He dripped on me like a ton of bricks. His spirit then filled and reshaped my life. His breaking broke my fall. Caught by his kindness, unharmed, God's mercy spread out his grace when Jesus opened up his arms. When Jesus opened up his arms. In the throne room, come up hither. And we know, we all know Joel, Joel 2.28. And read Revelations chapter 4, verses 1 through 10. Read it on your own time. Let your faith heal. Let your faith heal thee. Be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. That's my words. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Always be obedient. If something comes to you, the words came to me earlier. The words came to me earlier. They have made my house a den of thieves. I believe I have another prophecy coming. They have made my house a den of thieves. And that is, I think that is in the Bible. They've made my house a den of thieves. Came to me just as plain as day. Came to me just as plain as day. They've made my house a den of thieves. And look at and look. People, messengers of God have, have given out warnings. God's healer seven. Sister Barbara and Brother Dan. And so many other people have given out warnings. Then you see what happened. The flooding in Libya. Thousands of people died. Morocco. They're still finding bodies. And I'm sure they'll, they'll probably find more bodies. Because they worship other idols. They don't worship God. They don't worship the true creator. They worship other idols. People don't want to believe that God is sending his judgments. But he is. He is. He's trying to wake people up. He's trying to wake people up. He's trying to wake people up. Pure and simple. 
He's trying to wake people up to turn to him. Repent. Repent and turn from the wicked ways. Come out of this world. Come into the light. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. How many people are going to have to die for those very few that will turn away, you know, and repent? How many people is going to have to die? And I know there's been people that said, I'm not going to worship a mean God. Well, <laughs> he, like it or not, he is the one that, who created us. He's the one who created us. He created us in his image, in his image. But this this here was a was a it was a really, really good post. Really, really good post. No, I'm not gonna read it again. You can always rewind it and you can replay it. You play play the replay. But I wanted to write that down. Again, like I always say, please keep me in your prayers. Keep me and your family in your prayers we're still trying to find another place we're still looking for another place i'm still believing just believe just believe and have faith as a grain of a mustard seed that's all it takes is just a grain of a mustard seed the tree of life with a little mustard seed the tree of life with a little grain of mustard seed. I do have my faith in the Lord. I still have my faith in God. You know. And when it's time, when it's time, then God will move us. He will move us. And it has to be in His timing. In His timing. He's never late. He's always on time. Isn't that right, Joseph? Yeah. Never late, always on time. And always what we need. And always what we need. That's right, always what we need. It may be what it may not be what we wanted, maybe. But it's not he wants the best for us. He wants the best for us. Whatever will be for our benefit and the best for us. And I've always said that I'm not all about expensive things. I'd be happy in a, a little small place. I'd be happy. I don't have to have, I'm not materialistic. I've said this on, I don't know how many videos. I'm not materialistic. I never have been. I wasn't raised up like that to have fancy things. I don't put people down that do but I'm not materialistic. You know, I mean, it is what it is and I am who I am, you know? So I'm just gonna make this in kind of short. I did one the other night, I did, a, I did a, test, a test on it and it did upload. It was only a minute and 33 seconds, I think. And my signal, I only had two bars, so I don't know how this is gonna do, I don't know. But anyway, uh, like I said, it's getting late now. It's, well, it's about 10 o'clock. It's about 10 o'clock. And I'm going to get my provider out here as soon as they can get out here. I'm going to call them Monday and have them to, I didn't get them called today. I had a lot going on today and I didn't get them called today. But I will first thing Monday morning and see when they can get out here to get this fixed. It's all, it's all messed up. First, my phone said SOS. So we took it out to, to my provider and they got the SOS off. Well, then we, we got back home and my phone would not connect to the Wi-Fi. So I called Mediacom. Anyway, I called them and they come out and brought a little white, a little white thing that says Eero on it. And they said that my equipment was all outdated and that I needed the new equipment. So it wouldn't cost me anything. But the guy didn't have any new boxes with him, but he didn't set up an appointment to come back and, you know, with a new modem, with a new modem. So, 
I'm gonna have to call. I'm gonna have to call them. I'm gonna have to call them Monday morning. So anyway, that's the way it is. <laughs> but otherwise, we're doing fine. We're, we're doing fine. And uh, it's been nice and cool. It's been nice and cool. But like I said, we don't get out very much because we're trying to save on our gas. Trying to save on our gas. We found out something else that. that Something's wrong with our transmission on the in the van. Something's wrong with the transmission, so we we're, we need to. It's about to quit. It's about to quit. In other words, it's about to quit. So we now we're going to have to look for another vehicle. What it is, the bands are slipping. Yeah, the bands. I must say hello. The bands are slipping. And the bands in the transmission are slipping bad. Yeah, that's that's why whenever we we, we take off. It kind of jerks. It jerks. So, we've had it two years. But, it's not the torque convert. It's not a torque converter on it. No, it's the inside of the transmission itself. But it's the in, inside of the transmission. So, now we've got to think about trading vehicles. And we have no money to... Well, there ain't no way to uh, I ain't for that. No, I'm saying we, we we don't we won't have the we don't have the money to you know. So keep us in your prayers. The keep only pr thing you can do with that car is pretty much just drive it over the scale and solve it for dirt. My and it's got new parts on it too, our van. It's got new parts on it. So like I said, you know, we're all gonna be put through tests. You know, and our tests can be our testimonies. Our messes can be our messages. I've said that before, too. So, anyway, um, I wanted to say hello to Yvette and hello to Faye, Sister Faye. I'm so glad, Faye, that you're doing a whole lot better. You are one determined lady, and I think it's wonderful. Through, through, the, through God's strength, God's given you the strength and... I just wanted to let you both know that I love I love you very much. You know, there's so many people that I love. I love dearly. So, again, still keep us in your prayers. I gotta take a drink of water. <clears throat> take a drink of water. I'm gonna do the Our Father. <clears throat> I'll get into some more subjects on this new channel. Well, it's not new. I just changed. Back to the altar ministries, I just changed it to back to the altar of God. Back to the altar of God. But at a later time, when we get the Wi-Fi fixed, I'm going to be getting into some other things. Getting into some other things. And uh, it is what it is. I'll just say that much. It is what it is. So I'm going to do the Our Father and go ahead and go. If you want to write to me, feel free to with your prayer requests. And if you feel lit, if you feel led to give, it would be much appreciated, very much appreciated. If not, that's okay too. So I love you either way. I love you either way. <clears throat> so our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Forever and, and ever and to all ages. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be blessed and not stressed. And also, please pray for Nikki Hall. Jesus wants you channel. Please pray for her. She's going through some things. She's been attacked in her body. The enemy has attacked her in her body. She's not, she's sick. She's been sick. She's trying to fight it. Because she has up some powerful, powerful messages to bring forth. And the enemy does not want her bringing them out. So she's being attacked in her body. In her body. 
So please keep her in your prayers. Nikki Hall, or Nikki Pratt. Nikki Hall, the watchman on the wall. Her Jesus Wants You channel. Please keep her in your prayers. So on that note, keep looking up. Thumbs up, eyes to the sky, for we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. We must be ready. We must keep on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Keep on the belt of truth, the boost of peace, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil because he roams about like a roaring lion seeking to whom he may devour. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. And he's ramping things up. He's ramping things up. There's good ramping up. And there's also evil. Evil. So I'll, on that note, I guess I'll say good night. May God bless you. May he richly, richly bless you. I love you. I really, really do. Jesus loves you. He really, really does. And love one another as he has loved you. Love one another as he has loved you. So, blessings and love again. And holy hugs. Holy hugs to each and every one of you that will see this video. Holy hugs. Alrighty. Bye-bye, you guys. Till my next video. Till my next video.